Here is a brief snapshot of income statement. The income statement reports the amount of net income or loss determined by subtracting expenses from revenues during a specific time period. What is revenues? Revenues refer to the value of a company's sales of goods and services to its customers. Cost and expenses are incurred in generating revenues and operating the entity. For a manufacturer, cost of sales is the expense incurred for raw materials, labor and manufacturing overhead used in the production of its goods. Gross profit simply represents the difference between net sales and the cost of sales. Gross profit provides the resource to cover all of the company's other expenses. Selling, general and administrative expenses are often referred to as SG and A. This account comprises a company's operational expenses. Operating income. Deducting SG and A from a company's gross profit produces operating income. This figure represents a company's earnings from its normal operations before any so-called non-operating income or costs such as interest expense, taxes and special items. Income at the operating level, which is viewed as more reliable, is often used by financial analysts rather than net income as a measure of profitability. Interest expense reflects the cost of a company's borrowings. Sometimes companies record a net figure here for interest expense and interest income from invested funds. Pre-tax income is calculated after reducing operating income from interest expense. Income taxes are paid on the pre-tax income. Income taxes reflect the taxes that the firm pays to the government. The income taxes are calculated based on various slabs as per the government. Net income or net profit is the bottom line, which is the most commonly used indicator of a company's profitability. With the basic understanding of income statement, let us now comprehend how an income statement works in the case of Karthik's fast track. We will use case study methodology for our learnings where we will make an income statement, balance sheet and cash flows of fast track for the month of December. Please do remember, financial statement preparation here are done only for the month of December. Please have a look at case study 1. If Karthik delivers 200 parcels in December for $1.05 per delivery, he has technically earned fees totaling $1.1000 for that month. He sends invoices to his clients for these fees and his terms require that his clients must pay by January 15. Question. How many revenues should be recognized? Answer. The main revenues for Fast Track are the fees it earns for delivering parcels. Revenue recognition principle suggests that we should use accrual basis of accounting as opposed to the less preferred cash method of accounting. Accrual basis of accounting is when revenues are recorded as they are earned, not when the company receives the money. Let us closely look at Fast Track. Even though Karthik's client won't pay fast track until January 15, the accrual basis of accounting requires that the $1.1000 be recorded as December revenues, since that is when the delivery work actually took place. After expenses are matched with these revenues, the income statement for December will show just how profitable the company was in delivering parcels in December. However, Cash method of accounting is no more followed. Had the above transaction recorded on cash basis, the revenues for December would be zero and for January would be $1.1000. Now let us look at case study 2. Revenues. 
When Karthik receives the dollar one thousand worth of payment checks from his customers on January fifteen, he will make an accounting entry to show the money was received. How do you think the transaction should be recorded? Is cash received in the current accounting period? The answer is no. Money was not received in the month of December and hence receivables will be recorded as assets for the month of December. However, when Karthik receives the dollar one thousand worth of payment checks from his customers on January 15, he will make an accounting entry to show cash received and receivables assets decreased. It is now time for us to understand the item below revenues, that is expenses. Case study 3. Expenses. If Karthik hires some labor to help him with December deliveries and Karthik agrees to pay him dollar three hundred on January three and another dollar one hundred for packaging and other supporting material, total expenses of dollar four hundred expense for December deliveries. Question What is the total expense that should be recorded in the income statement for the month of December. Answer. Known as matching principle, the December income statement should show expenses incurred during December regardless of when the company actually paid for the expenses. The actual date that $400 is paid out doesn't matter. What matters is when the work was done, when the expense was incurred. Let us now look at other examples of expenses. Interest expenses. Case study 4. Expenses. Fast track movers and packers borrowed $20,000 from a bank to start his business on 1st December and the company agrees to pay 5% in interest or $1,000. The interest is to be paid in a lump sum on December 1st of each year. What is the monthly interest expense that is shown for Karthik's monthly income statement? Interest expense. Karthik pays interest as a lump sum amount for once a year. However, when Karthik is preparing his monthly income statement, Karthik should report one month of accrued interest expense even though it was not paid. Annual interest expense is $1,000. Accrued monthly interest expense is equal to $1,000 divided by 12 is equal to $1,083 per month. Here is the consolidate income statement on the basis of four case studies for the month of December. Sales of $1,000 because of accrual system of accounting. Cost of goods sold of dollar four hundred attributed to concept of matching principles. Let us assume that selling general and administrative expenses are dollar thirty. Income from operations then becomes dollar five hundred seventy. Interest expenses as calculated for one month of dollar eighty three attributed again to concept of matching principles. Pre tax income is now at dollar four hundred eighty seven. We further assume that the corporate tax rate is thirty three per cent and calculate the income taxes as dollar one hundred sixty one, that is dollar 487 multiplied by 33 percent. Net income or bottom line number is $326.